Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Ibet Zamora versus Marlene Esparza. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who doesn't know, this fight between Zamora and Esparza is a title fight. Uh, Zamora will be defending her WBC flyweight title. It's scheduled for 10 rounds to take place in the other card of Jaime Munguia versus Macy Zaleski on the 19th of June. June 19, 2021 to be shown live on The Zone except for in Mexico for, for some reason. So um, so yeah, uh, so tune into The Zone uh, on June 19 if you want to see this fight between Mungi and Zuleski as well as this fight between Zamora and Esparza and before I get more to talking about who I think will win to those who doesn't know who Ubet Zamora is she is a 32 year old fighter from Mexico 32 and 6 12 wins coming by way of knockout TKO she's currently in a five fight winning streak since her last loss against Moreno back in 2017 and uh, here she is fighting the uh, younger Esparza Former Olympian from Texas, Houston, Texas, USA, 9-1, and one, one, not one win coming by way of Nakar TKO. She's currently in a two-fight winning streak since losing to Estrada. And uh, yeah, this is a, it's a good fight. It's a good fight, in my opinion. Um, I think Zamora uh, obviously has the experience on her side, uh, being the older and more, um, who has had more professional fights as a you know, boxer. And I, I recently watched some footage of Zamora because I've never really heard of her, to be honest, until this fight was announced. And I gotta say, I was impressed. I was really impressed with what I saw from Zamora. And I think this is going to be a pretty interesting clash of styles. Definitely an entertaining fight, um, in my opinion. And in the end, I think Zamora might actually successfully defend her title in this one. I, I feel like Esparza... I don't know. I, I'm not sure how... Uh, because her last fight, she she honestly didn't look that sharp in her last fight. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, maybe because she was fighting at the heavier weight. Um, maybe that's why. But you know, from what I've seen from Zamora, it seems like uh, she'll go out there and outpoint Esparza. I see her outpointing her, um, and I see Zamora using her experience as an advantage in this fight, and. You know, I, I see her successfully. I think it will be competitive. I think both fighters will be right there in the middle of the ring, exchanging here and there. And I just see, I just see Zamora letting her hands go more and outpointing uh, Esparza. But it will be close fight. It will be a close fight, though. I think um, Esparza will definitely have moments. Uh, she will probably land the uh, more eye-catching punches. She will probably be more of the boxer in this fight. But in the end, I think the punch output of Zamora will, will lead her to a victory in this one. It will lead her to successfully defending her title. I mean, su yeah, successfully defending her title. Well, who knows? I mean, this could be Sparza's time. This could be her moment. Maybe, uh, you know, her last fight. I think, yeah, I think her last fight, she was 118 in her last fight. I think that explains why she was, uh, she was a little slow and sluggish in that fight, to be honest. But, uh, but for this fight, I think it's going to be at one. 112 so so i think it will be i think she i think Esparza will actually look better in this fight but i still see zamora pulling it off in a close competitive fight but we shall see we shall see should be a good one should be a good fight good event tune in again on the zone especially if you want to see mugia soleski and uh yeah let me know what you guys think about this fight uh i think i think it will most likely go to this and six rounds to four in favor of zamora let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.